Good morning. It is certainly a great day that we have to be able to come back into your presence to share just a few thoughts from God's precious word. You know, the Bible teaches us that uh, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And uh, if we ever expect to be strong, we must possess the joy of the Lord and the joy of the Lord must possess us. This is another beautiful day that God has given us, and I will rejoice and be glad in it so that the strength of God can carry me through this day. You know, today uh, I want to bring a, a word to you that uh, talks about being a mirror, reflecting God's love to others. I like what Jesus said in John's gospel, chapter number 13, verse 34. Jesus said, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another. Now notice he didn't give us an option there. He said a new commandment. So that is something that uh, we must do. A new commandment. I give unto you that you love one another. And then he goes on to say, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Listen, friend, one of the ways that we can know uh, that we exist in the world is through the reflections that, that others give us. Now, there are times when others give us an untruthful or distorted reflection, uh, especially when they make fun of us or, or whenever they maybe throw uh, ridicule at us or even when they may mock us. Uh, if you've never been mocked or ridiculed, hold on, because the day will come when someone will certainly do that to you. Uh, I think the Lord knew our nature, uh, and I think that he continues to know our nature, uh, and, and I believe that's why he said to us that we need to love one another, because God knew that there would be times that we, uh, that we just wouldn't love one another, and usually uh, those are the times that we're unlovely ourselves. But even when we have those unlovely times, even when we, we're not at our best, God loves us in spite of ourselves. You know, others can also uh, give truthful reflections. They can tell the truth about, about us, and uh, sometimes these reflections may not really be what we want to hear. Uh, I know there's been times in my own life that that uh, someone shared a reflection uh, uh, about me and things that I had going on in my life. Uh, and, and it didn't feel too good, but yet it was truthful and God through them used, uh, used them to help me get back on track, to help me get where I needed to be, to be the kind of vessel for his honor and for his glory that I should be. Uh, when we love others, uh, as we are commanded to do by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we show others that we love them by reflecting the best parts of, of their lives, the best parts of their personhood. You see, we can reflect others' personhood by listening to them and uh, signifying to them that that we hear them and, and that we respond to them and and that we, we're concerned about them, and we do that by showing them love and compassion. Listen, my friend, the best listeners are people who remain quiet and who essentially, uh, from time to time, repeat what another person says because the other person always likes to know that you're listening. Listen, we must always be careful to reflect, though, only what we hear, not what we want to hear. You see, sometimes we put that little extra in uh, as we repeat uh, maybe their comment back to them. We, we add a word or two, and we shouldn't do that. 
you know, as I begin to think about that, uh, it's good to know that there are those out there that will listen intently and uh, because of that, uh, they, they listen intently. It thrills your heart to know that there's somebody out there that will listen to you. And then most importantly, one of the best ways that you and I can show love to others is to reflect upon their hopes, reflect upon their dreams, and reflect upon their aspirations uh, uh, in life, the things that they're desiring, the things that they are wanting to accomplish in life. Uh, build them up so that they can work toward those goals. And the greatest way to build someone up is to follow the commandment that Jesus has given to us. Love one another. He said, love one another as I have loved you. How much did he love us? Enough to give his very life for us. And then he says, in closing that verse, that you also love one another. Father, I know sometimes there are those that we deal with that that can really uh, get on a nerve and uh, would seem in our eyes and in our view as, as unlovely. But God, even those who appear to be the most unlovely to you, you prayed and said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Help our lives, O oh Lord, to be a reflection, to be a mirror. God, that we might build people up instead of tearing people down. Give us a great day in Christ today that others may see Jesus and we'll give you thanks and praise for all you do in the Lord Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that this day is a great day in your life as you go out into the world and reflect the love of God to others.